Okay, so here's one of my guys. This is Joe Mundell. Joe has thrown, as a junior last year, he threw 59 uh, and 176. He won a double A state title in PA in shot and disc, uh, but he's got a good, good competition. There's a kid who's a year younger, Evan Blair, who's probably throwing really far right now. So should be a good comp competitive year. I'll run this in fast speed. So this was yesterday. What we were working on is him. He has a tendency to really pick up his right early and not finish his throw at all. I'm trying to get him to be have that left arm open him up a little more. He could have picked his foot, like could push a little more aggressively. And if you look, if you watch my last video um, that I did of Tom Bajalid, Tom doesn't do that. And this is what I was talking about. <clears throat> This is what Leif does, and this is what Joe does. A lot of throwers tend to do this, and I think if they can get rid of this uh, right heel going back and just push and attack the middle right away, it's going to pick up. You're going to pick up a little more speed. It's a hard thing to to figure out, though. It's very hard. It sort of it takes. It, it makes the right leg attack a little bit longer. <clears throat> so right here, if Joe could get that down quicker, a little sooner, and if he could keep that weight, keep his weight back over that right more. <clears throat> so his left doesn't get too high. I mean, it's a little high there. It could be a little bit lower to the concrete. But if he could get that weight stay to stay back, because even here, right now, that shot's more in line with his foot and his knee. It should be. He should have that. <clears throat> he should have weight behind his right foot more. So if he had that weight behind his right foot, and then that left shoulder opens up more here. Like let's say his left's grounded, his left shoulder opens up more, but his shot's back behind the right. Okay, so I just said a lot of things there. Shots back behind the right, left's grounded faster, left shoulder opens him up, and then transfer forward. But if you see, like, Joe's left is hit, and he's already starting to creep forward there. So he still should be back a little bit more, more weight on that right leg. And this is where I, I don't really like Joe's throw. Like his left side, you can see sort of shuts off. Watch his, watch his left arm. It almost doesn't move. <clears throat> so barely, it doesn't really do anything. But on top of that, is this. Drops his elbow here, and he's picking up that right foot. He's got to stay grounded more. Stay grounded. Stay back on the right. Stay grounded. But this is one thing. On this throw, Joe actually worked the front pretty well. He hasn't. He's never really been able to finish really long. So he's starting to feel that longer finish here. So. Otherwise, you know, this isn't, it's not, this is a decent throw for him in training, especially. Let's just play it again. So, again, it all goes back to him. If he could figure out how to push that foot out, push the foot out more, so that that right can get down quicker. And then when the right gets down, keep his weight back here. The left gets down, so if his eyes, if those eyes stay back, his left should be grounded right now, and his left arm should be opening him up right now, <clears throat> and then push forward. But yeah, you know, he's he's not far off, dude. He's he's gonna throw well. It's just he's gotta get more reps in. Sometimes Joe's a little lazy, and he doesn't really train like a state champion. He trains like an eighth grader. 
So, Joe, I hope you're listening to this. I think he needs to get, like, 25 throws in shot, a couple 15 to 20 throws in disc, <clears throat> and start really attacking it. Because I think, I think this kid could – I think Joe could go 65 feet, but – there's a big difference between 65 feet and 59 feet. You know, there's a big training difference. So there's a couple things he could clean up. 